The Matrix 4 is getting a bad rap, and I think it's entirely unfair. Maybe people were expecting a full-on action film, but this one perfectly encapsulates what the entire franchise has been about. I've heard criticisms about the cringy dialogue, or some of the editing in the fight scenes, to even the acting being a little flat at times. And yes, that's all there, but as a whole, it doesn't detract from the core of the film and how it connects to the last three films. And while it is heavy on using clips from the previous films, it acts as a way to convey how Neo is remembering his past, and as a way to bring in new viewers who might not even understand what's going on. It has been a long time since the last films, and some people might not want to watch a trilogy before seeing this one. I don't understand why people wouldn't, but some people are like that. I've also heard people saying that The Matrix didn't feel like The Matrix, and that they wanted to see more of a green tint throughout the film. But did these people forget that this isn't the same Matrix from before? That this is Matrix 2.0? And it's even said so in the film. It changed at the end of Part 3, so of course it wouldn't be green all over the place. But when they roll back to the original Matrix later on into the film, the green tint does return. And without getting into spoilers, the dialogue early on is cringy, but it's by design. It's kind of a meta way of showcasing how corporations don't really understand the artist or the art that's being created. To knock this movie on the dialogue choices that were intentional is missing the point of the film and of the main antagonist. But getting back into the series after so long feels weird, and maybe that's intentional, because Neo feels like he's out of character for most of the film, which in itself is also an integral part of his character, since the Matrix has been keeping Neo in this never-ending loop, so he doesn't remember who he really is. I don't understand how critics can say that this is like The Last Jedi. Neo isn't dehumanized in this film, and is treated with the respect and reverence that his character has always had unlike how they handled Luke in The Last Jedi. Neo is the main focus of the entire film. Trinity is also an important piece, but again, without getting into spoilers, she is integral to Neo's path as well. But this may be why some people have trouble with the story, since Trinity is so important. And also again, Agent Smith returns, in an interesting position to the plot. Obviously, the actor that played the character before is different, but they explain why he looks different and it isn't a big deal in the overall scheme of things. Him and Morpheus being played by different characters is off-putting at first, but they're not in the film as much as you'd expect. My only gripe is in their acting, which doesn't feel as natural as Hugo Weaving or Lawrence Fishburne, but it's understandable because those are pretty big shoes to fill. So I like the route that they took with this film, without being twisted into an overly complex Inception-like plot. As complex as The Matrix feels, the story is very simple and straightforward, and I appreciate that. It doesn't try to be more pseudo-intellectual than it needs to be, and it displays its message through allegory and symbolism. Thankfully, the film doesn't rely so much on the action scenes to try and wow audiences like the last two films, allowing the characters to develop more. Some of the set pieces in Matrix 2 and 3 were just too over the top, I thought. Although, since the film tends to retread some previous ground, some people might not appreciate why this had to be, and why this was the best way to reintroduce these characters. I came into this film with low expectations, expecting the worst after so many negative reviews. And sure, Matrix 4 wasn't the best Matrix film, but it is still a good Matrix film, with fight scenes that don't remind me of Dragon Ball Z this time. And while it isn't a perfect film, and I can go on and on about all the nitpicks that I have with it, it doesn't take away from the whole, and Resurrections feels like a good addition to the franchise.